This is a great representation of our reality that we're dealing with. To wade through the deceit, the diversions, the cul-de-sacs, the lies surrounding what is currently happening in Israel. And of course, you won't get this information in the mainstream media. In fact, from what I've seen in the last 24 hours, you won't get it from some of the quote big names in the so-called alternative media. What is the case again? It always is with every war is that civilians on both sides are being slaughtered. Always the case while those that order the slaughtering stay in a safe place. When Iraqi civilians were being slaughtered with the invasion of Iraq by America and Britain, where were boy George Bush and Tony Blair? Where were they while it was all going on? Sipping coffee in the White House and Downing Street. It's always the way. And we have Netanyahu sitting here now pontificating. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You, mate, are doing nothing. You're sending others to do it like you always do. And the same goes for that which is really behind. Not the window dressing, what is really behind, what is known as Hamas. So, first of all, the bottom line. This was not a surprise attack. Oh, yeah, we well, surprised us. Oh, really? Who do you think you're talking to, bloody idiots? We have the Israeli Defense Forces as one of the most trained and best equipped armies in the world. And we're talking about a very small area in terms of Israel, Gaza. We have Mossad, one of the most sophisticated and widespread intelligence agencies in the world that make surveillance an art form. It's on the cutting edge. It knows everything that's going on in that area. But somehow, hundreds of Hamas, quote, militants laid siege to Israel, put thousands of rockets into Israel, which they somehow gathered or built or whatever without Mossad and the IDF having any idea. Oh no, we didn't know about that. We had Hamas operatives coming into Israel on frickin' hang gliders. But they never knew it was coming. We had fighting in all these different areas of Israel, these different locations. But the IDF and Mossad and all the rest of that vast Israeli security network had no idea. Isn't that what they said with night? I'm hearing uh, them saying this is Israel's night. Well, what happened? These planes were, they say, hijacked. And there was a big build up to it, they say, preparing for it. But the whole of the American intelligence military network Oh no, it was a surprise, we didn't know. <sighs> Do 
To say they are lying to you is to state the bloody obvious, and we'll get into why. Um, this is a quote from a former IDF soldier who was a border observer, and uh, she worked with the highest level technology available. That's what Israel does. And this is what she said. If a bird came close, we knew. Even a cockroach came to our fence border, we knew. How did 400 Hamas pass through today? The answer is they were allowed to. Was this a surprise attack for the civilian population of Israel? Oh yes, of course. Was it even a surprise attack for many in the rank and file of the, the military? But the inner core that's running the show, surprise to them? You must be bloody joking. And uh, this situation reminded me of someone I've quoted uh, over the years of the books, over the decades. It's a man called Leroy Fletcher Prouty. He served as uh, Chief of Special Operations for the Joint Chiefs of Staff under President uh, Kennedy, JFK. He was a colonel in the United States Air Force and subsequently became a critic of US foreign policy, particularly the covert activities of the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, which he believed was working on behalf of a secret world elite. And this is the telling quote Fletcher Prouty said, no one has to direct an assassination, it happens. And for assassination, that means an attack like the one in Israel now as well. No one has to direct an assassination, it happens. The active role is played secretly by permitting it to happen. This is the greatest single clue, he said, who has the power to call off or reduce the usual security precautions? Who has that power in Israel must now come under the spotlight and be questioned why they did so. Because they obviously did. Now, what they want you to do in any situation like this, is to take sides. And if I'm going to take the side of anyone, I take the side of the civilians. The civilians in Israel who have been subject to these horrors that continue. And the civilians in Gaza who are now suffering the horrors of the Israeli response. But in terms of sides, one fighting the other, to take either is to lose the plot.